Okay, this is my game, Piranha Panic. Um, and I'm just going to give you some brief instructions on how to play it. Um, because I think this is the sort of game that um, works best if you actually see the visuals rather than just a picture of the box. Um, the aim of the game is to move, there are four different coloured fishes. Um, obviously, depending on how many people are playing, we're going to assume that there are four players in this game. Um, and what happens is you roll the dice, and depending on what the dice tells you, depends on how this affects your little fishes in this blue stream. At the top here, this orange portion here, this is where the piranhas will sit if you're unfortunate enough to get that picture on the dice. Right, we'll begin by throwing the dice and it'll be the little orange fish's turn. So he throws the dice and he gets himself a one. So he would move one space. Okay, no worries, no piranhas, so we're okay. So fishy number two, he would get two spaces up the river stream. So that's one, two for him. And now the third fishy, he would do a blue fish. Now that actually doesn't isn't worrying. That means that um, he's just here to say hello. Um, and he's not actually here to aid your game. So it just really means that you miss a go when you get the blue fish. The next one is unfortunately the piranha fish. Now that means that this person here with the little green fishes, he's got the piranha fish. Now, if he rolls again and gets another piranha fish, then that means that all four piranhas are going to be let loose to try and grab your little fishes off the water, off the riverbed. Right, so we'll roll the dice again and see how many piranhas are going to be let out. And it's showing us, oh, we're lucky this time, just one piranha. So we'll take one of the piranhas out of the box and place him, well, the most, the best place really, if I was going to be piranha. Would probably be top, just to the to the right. We place them on the top, and then we have to pull the handle, and hope that our little fishes stay in their places. Let's give it a go. Yep, we were quite lucky on that session, and and only one little fishy. That's this one here. Was taken back to the riverbed. All that means is then he has to start right from the beginning again. So, Mr. There he is, yellow fish, he'd have to start all over again. So, green fish has had his go, and so now it will be back to little orange fish. The aim is to get three of the same colour, that's three oranges or three purples, all the way to the top, over the top of the piranhas, and into this safe zone at the top. So, the play would continue like that, so then orange fish would have another go, so we'd give him a go. And he'd score a one, so he'd just move one space up, and the next person would have a go, and he gets Mr. Blue Fish, which again is just a miss a turn, and then Mr. Yellow Fish, he would get a number one, so he moves one space forward. As you can see, this is how the play goes on, and then the next one, he gets a one this time. Now, if we did get the Piranha Fish on a throw, and then we were to get a blue fish, that would mean he's there to help us, which means that we don't put the piranhas into play on that go. And that's really it, how to play um, Piranha Panic. Just to show you what happens when all four piranhas are out, so there we go, we'll put them at the top just to show you how they flip all of the little orange piranhas up. There we go, so we've got four piranhas along the top. And everyone here hoping that they're going to survive. So we pull the lever. And hey, this little one, he managed to stay safe, even with all four piranhas. Okay, well that's it then. That's the game of uh, Piranha Panic. Thank you for watching.